Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome to 2021. Let's take a look and see what is happening in your life. First week of January reading, so let's take a look. Action! Whoa! You have somebody pursuing you, Aquarius. This is going to happen very quickly. If it's not already happening, it is about to change your life. You have the planet of good fortune transiting Aquarius. Happy family! Look at this! Oh, gorgeous energy, Aquarius. All right, so let's see. What is the energy for our Aquarius friends? What can spirit tell us about our Aquarius friends in love? At this time, messages from spirit for Aquarius. Aquarius, what do you need to know? Look at this, okay. You have been, you are making decisions. Right now, Aquarius, you feel as though you're at a crossroad. The two of wands, there's a fork in the road. What will you decide? For most of you, you will decide to release something and you are going to have a new, another choice in love. I'm getting that you're going to release an old situation and you have love coming in with a lover's card. Somebody's coming in to make a beautiful offer for Ace of Coins. When we get the Three of Cups next to that, we have the engagement set, as many of you know. I am... Um, Really like this energy for you, Aquarius. Three of Wands, where are you at? Where are you going? You're going to travel to faraway places. You're going to do things that you've never done before. You are in the adventure of your life this year, Aquarius. I love it. What gorgeous energy. Okay, these cards all fell out. Too many, okay. So let's take a look and see what is going on with Aquarius, okay. So we have the Ten of Coins, a legacy of abundance, a legacy love relationship, a soulmate connection. The, both of you are very, very... Um, centered on what you want. This is a card of great happiness, great love, sharing responsibilities, sharing joys, loyalty, really being there to support one another. You have an extended family. Both of you are feeling so joyful right now, so fortunate, so abundant. The Ace of Swords is all about living up to your truest heart, your true self. Again, leaving something behind, Aquarius. Leaving something behind. For some of you, you may be leaving a marriage. You may be leaving somebody with whom you've had a long-term relationship. But I'm seeing you, and I see some of you feeling underwater. We do really have this energy that says, that you want the truth, you want to live authentically, you want to find your soulmate. I feel as though you already know who your soulmate is. You are looking forward to the adventures. You do have some fears or discomforts, but that's normal, right? That's a normal part of life. That's a normal part of growth. We get that you are letting go of the burdens of the past, even though you have some fear wrapped around this. The Page of Pentacles says that you just take everything a day at a time. Look at this. You have new love coming in, Aquarius. The Ace of Cups. New love is headed your way. Gorgeous. Okay, so let's look and see. Again, you're, you are throwing caution to the winds, but you're not going to do so immediately. I see that you're going to hold back for a few months. I feel as though with the card that, um, you know, this Ten of Wands and the Judgment card, some of you for whom I'm reading are going through a divorce, a separation, and you're moving towards, you're leaving the past behind, you're releasing, and you're moving to this beautiful new energy. You know, change is always a little bit um, intimidating, it can be, but you're very brave, you know. You haven't done this in a long time. I feel as though you are a little uncomfortable with it, but you all oh, look at this. You are seeking your happiness. You want to follow your heart. You want to follow your beliefs. You want to be your authentic self. You are going to have new love. It's coming in right here for you. There's a wonderful new beginning. 
So I feel very much for most of you that you've not really had a satisfying experience in terms of long-term love. You are going for the gold. That is your truth and you are going to live your truth. The Eight of Swords does say that's Gemini energy. It says that you're caught up in your head. It does look as though you're worried about you know something. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see, dig into this reading and see what's going on. So the action, look at this, look at these cards. These are so beautiful. Look at this. We have action and happy family. So whatever is happening, if you are, for, for those of you who may be leaving a family behind, it really speaks to the fact that you want to be your authentic self. You want to have this lover's card. Look at lovers who are very different than you are. You want a new experience. The beauty of it is, is that you have all the freedom and all the stability that you need this year. Aquarius to really manifest everything that you've been longing for for probably many years. You know, it looks as though if you were married, you were married for a very long time. It also looks as though you thought long and hard about the decision that you've just undertaken. The hanged man says that you looked at everything from a different perspective. You thought about this decision for a long time. The Knight of Swords says that you finally made the move to do it. It looks as though you've already started to sever ties. You have a lover here. Somebody, ooh, you have a reunion. Beautiful, Six of Cups. Six of Cups is a minor arcana. It's a, it is the energy of Scorpio. Scorpio energy is coming back around. You have a Scorpio lover or somebody with Mars in their chart. Could also be an Aries because they're both ruled by Scorpio. This is Scorpio energy, but you have a soulmate coming back around. I don't think that you see it though because you have a lot of, you're feeling very much, you know, like you're not sure what's going to happen. You have an offer of love. Somebody's coming in to tell you that they love you. The Knight of Cups. This person does look like they're single and available. I get the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. You are going to get a substantial love offer. A romantic experience is coming your way. You have the Lover's Card and the Lover's Card right here. And the moon card says that intuitively, you know it. You can feel the energy shifting. That is Cancerian energy. It is a high priestess energy. It speaks to the fact that the time is ripe. It is time for a new adventure in love, a new adventure in opening your heart and your emotions. You know, as you go from being married to single, you are going to find your authentic life. Aquarius, beautiful. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Okay, it looks as though for some of you, you may be getting married. For those of you who have not been married, it looks like you will marry, that you will release singlehood. And I'm getting the Eight of Wands energy, beautiful energy that really speaks to having a very passionate, a very passionate relationship. Now, the relationship, because for some of you who would be getting divorced, there are children in the mix. And it looks as though you're going to really embrace the opportunity to extend your family. Look at the family card is coming up. And it looks as though if you are single and ready to marry someone who has children, or I would say also has children, it really looks as though you're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. You're going to be very happy. The Ace of Swords, you love this new and new life you're embracing. You're cutting through. The world card, you are completing a cycle very successfully. Everything that you've done in your life has led to a chance to have to live in a more authentic way. For many of you, you've been unhappy in a relationship for a long time. And although it makes you feel sad to leave someone behind, it really is time because we get the Two of Wands here and the Two of Wands here really bookending. It really is time to sever the um, ties that bind, 
to, you know, really enjoy yourself and let yourself go. I think for many of you, you've really not allowed yourself to have the love that you want. And it is your time. Look at this. There's your card, Aquarius. The star card, the star card. That's hopes and dreams for new love coming true, Aquarius. Why are you nervous about throwing caution to the winds? You, have, you feel a little intimidated by the situation. The four of coins, you're worried about your security a little bit. I don't think too much though. For, the, for most of you, you're just trying to be very conservative, but the Hierophant is beckoning and look at how beautiful this Hierophant card is. We have someone here waiting for you, somebody very creative, somebody with a lot of laughter, somebody who's a lot of fun, and someone who sees eye to eye with you. In terms of your outlook, in terms of any religious beliefs, political beliefs, your history, you both want something of value. That is Taurus energy. It's all about building legacy and you and your person are both very much oriented to building legacy. Look at this strength card, the Leo energy. You've known this person for a while. I feel as though you've known them probably for a year, 18 months. The new beginning though, look at that. The new beginning in love. The Fool card is a new beginning in life. After a, sh a period of waiting, I feel like this could be the world that we live in, you know, not coming together for a bit of time here. Let's see why we have the Fool card for you. Beautiful. Six of coins, you are going to be with a lover. You're going to have this a lot of action. Ha ha ha. There's a lot of action in this relationship. I like it. It's very cute, very sexy. I'm getting that the Hermit card. You are, some of you are not sleeping very well. Some of you feel very nervous, but you are searching for answers. And Spirit is giving you those answers with this new opportunity. This person's going to reach out. They're going to take your hand and they're going to ask you to take the leap of faith with them on this very spiritual journey. You can see in this full card, this gorgeous tapestry almost that's being woven with your love for each other. So let's see what else we have. My gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so let's look and see what the Moonology has for us in terms of what, what looks like it's what looks like it's going to happen and when let's see i do think that there's a delay before you come together with this ace of cups but not very much it looks like the longest delay in this would be about it could be as little as nine days but it could be as much as nine weeks so it's major arcana your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, Taurus, and that is this Taurus energy. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. So you do need a practical plan, but I feel as though after the new moon comes in, I feel as though you're definitely going to have answers. You just need to step one foot in front of the other. Have faith in your dreams, there you go. That is your reading, Aquarius. It's beautiful. Have faith. You're going to have and manifest what you want. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care, Aquarius. Bye-bye.